How's it going everyone? Welcome to another match preview and this time we have Fiorentina away in the Europa League. It's the last 32. We're getting nearer to crunch time but do we really care about the Europa? This is the question I want to pose to you guys. Let me know in the comments below but let's get on with the match preview. So what will the score be? Sorry, what's my prediction? I'm going for 1-0 Spurs. I think it's going to be a tight match. I don't think we're going to field the strongest team. You're going to see that in my starting eleven, And I think it's going to be 1-0. Who's going to score the goal? I'm going to go for Ryan Mason, a wild card. Um, he hasn't had much time this season and I think he's going to be eager to prove himself. And I want to see him start. So let's go on to the starting eleven. So in goal, warm. He is off of the blacklist. I have placed a little bit of faith in the man and he's going to start. On the right, Kieran Trippier. Centre half is going to be Alderweireld and Wimmer. On the left, Davis. Now, guys, we are filming this on a Tuesday and this is what I want to see. This is not necessarily what Pochettino is going to select. This is all down to what I want to see on the pitch. Holding midfield, Ryan Mason and Nabil Bentaleb. On the right, Lamella. On the left, Chadley. In the hole, I want to see Onoma. We haven't seen enough of this kid. We've seen him in drips and drabs. We've seen spells. I think there's something there. Let's let him have a little run in the hole and really have a go at their defence. And up top, Harry Kane. We haven't got any other strikers. And despite what a lot of you may think, despite what he may think, Chadley is not a striker. OK, he has one foot. He's not both footed. He's not naturally gifted in that area. I don't want to see him up top. Harry Kane's just going to have to take the burden and play a whole lot of games. So that's my starting 11. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with it and let me know what you think the starting 11 should be. All right, so last season in 2015 in the Europa League, we lost to Fiorentina 2-0 away. It was bad. Goals from Gomez and Salah Sankos. And it was thanks to Fazio. He was awful. He gave the ball on the gave the ball away on the halfway line. Gomez capitalised on it and stuck it away. It was e and I'm so glad we've got rid of him, even if he is on loan. But don't worry, it'll become permanent. God willing, we're praying. But yeah, it was a bad day. Also on top of that, Saldado. This was the moment that sealed his fate. Him and Chadley literally going at the goalkeeper. He could have made an easy square pass for Chadley. Or if he was confident enough, he could have finished it. Didn't do it either or. He underhit the pass. The keeper just picked it up, collected it. And that was it. From there on, we knew we was going to lose the game. I knew we was going to lose. And Saldado's fate was sealed. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. But he still sends us a tweet every now and again and shows his support. And despite how much I don't like the man because of his footballing prowess, He's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. So, you know, all the best to Saldado. But anyway, guys, this has been the match preview. I reckon it's going to be 1 0. Let me know in the comments below what you think the score is going to be. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and keep it casual. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred on. I'm back in London. Still got a massive smile on my face. What a day yesterday was. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a Spurs fan.